Dito kami, ito to, dito kami titingin sa, dito, dito, dito. Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. Alam namin, napakaganda ng mga pelikulang nilalabas nyo, pero hindi namin alam, pati inasal, pinasok nyo na. No. Direct, our joke, ano nangyari, di ba? Paano ito nangyari? Um, dun, dun. Well, actually, born out din to sa, sa shooting namin. Because na, nakasanayan na namin, of course, to give uh, gratitude sa lahat ng tao, tsaka sa mga artista, pag mag -pack, bago mag-pack up. So, we catered some chicken and nasal. And then Arjo tasted it that night and he said na, oh, saan ang galing ito? Authentic Ilonggo ito ah. And then so we've shared it and then we discussed. And then hindi ko naman alam, bigla na lang siya nag-isip, gusto kong mag-put up ng, ng Ilonggo na inasal. And then after ilang months lang, ito na, ito na, so, grabe. Grabe. Oh, grabe. Yeah. Sa dami ng masarap mong kinakain, Arjo, kasi mahilig ka rin kumain talaga. Pa What? Why did this stand out? Ah, no, kasi yun nga, kunento ni Direk, galing kami sa isang shoot. Uh, actually, yung Topa, we were doing Topa. Uh, parang, I call it the last supper, the last day of work. So, long table, kumakain lahat ng tao, pusog na ako. Anyways, cut story short, napakain lahat, saluto ni Direk. Um, I also ate myself. And I, uh, I was actually uh, curious because all of them were giving good reactions to the sarap, to the galing. They didn't know the other ones, they just found out that they were direct. So I bought it direct, half mint. Then. So I said, direct, let's do this for a while. And then eventually we sat down and it all fell into place. And the big deal of the manok is 185, it's a yes. lot of money. How much is the price point? How much is it very attractive? Uh, we're definitely working. We got the best suppliers possible you know, to be able to cater this. To give a good quality of chicken to people, to the to our customers. And obviously, we want it to be friendly as well, pagdating sa presyo, para it's accessible and affordable sa lahat. But you can see, you can it. Yes, we have one can see namin, uh, siempre special din yun. Kasi it's really like a, a, a staple na, na delicacy sa Bacolod. So we tried to introduce it and I think uh, yun ang isa sa mga uh, product namin dito na um, something to look forward to because it's really special, pati yung pagluto and all the preparation. There's always magic kasi sa pagprep ng mga food like this. So it's nice na we're sharing it ngayon sa... sa what, what, was this your hobby to me? No, uh, it's not a hobby, but it's a family tradition. So we've been family like, recipe. yeah, family recipe. We've been like uh, cooking it since maliit. Pag may mga may mga okasyon sa bahay, so we prepared chicken, we prepared gansi, and uh, I think it's really humbling for me too. Na it got picked up by Kong Arjo, and uh, he took me as a partner, and we developed this. And I think it's about time that we could share it sa mga. Uh, consumers and mahilig sa pagkain. Arjun, mawawala ba yung topak namin pag natikman namin yung mamaya? Sobra. Uh, definitely, sabi ko nga, we won't put this out in the market if it wasn't that good, if it wasn't that presentable, if it didn't taste good, hindi namin to ilalabas sa market. And definitely, we're looking out to branch out very soon as well. Um, this is not just the, this is just the start practically. Wait, but you're also leaving, right? For, for Switzerland? Yes. When, yes. when would that be? August. I think uh, August 5, five kami, August 5, I think we're uh, oh. Wow, can, can you tell us more about that? Uh, yeah, I think uh, for us it's kind of uh, an overwhelming feeling for us now. Most especially uh, working with Arjo and at the same time me being his friend and a partner now sa business and with the film. So I think uh, the goal palagi is to introduce our craft here, most especially uh, our Filipino talent and what's amazing about it that uh, it got noticed uh, abroad from Cannes to uh, Locarno and I think it's like a great start for us, me as a director and for Arjo also introducing him as uh, a global uh, actor. So I think that's the that's really the dream, and we're getting it. Pa paano po ba yung proseso nun? Uh, do you submit uh, or paano ka maging kalahok ng lokal? Okay, of course we always believe that doing doing a film it's really like a collaborative job. It's not only the director who is running the show, but of course you have visionary producers who will support it. So Nathan Sujos came along, most especially uh, with a. Uh, uh, powerful support ni Miss Sylvia Sanchez. So from there, I think we can 
proudly say that we put up a, a really, really uh, wonderful film out there. So we tried to link it to a lot of distributors abroad. Wow. And then the distributors really pick it up. And our distributor is Raven Banner Entertainment, an international film distribution. And this is also uh, supported and produced by our partner, Wilfredo Obfusi and Michelangelo Masangkay. So everything is like uh, 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 really a, a collaborative job and everything really put their effort and support sa uh, film. Other producers could only dream to have this trajectory but Nathan Studios is doing the global route, right? I mean, what can you say about that? Um, that was the goal of, that is the goal of the team to be able to, because ABS, CBN International at first opened it to us when we were able to go to MIPCOM for the Kalea Killer. And moving forward, uh, given the chance that uh, uh, with the good relationships also of Director Richard Somes and uh, with the people believing in the project, we were able to come up with a genre film that's, you know, uh, to be honest, we were all surprised. You know, at first, of, obviously, this is all the exhibition telling us we can, we can make it until we all got shocked that we actually did. And uh, now after Cannes, it's overwhelming that the fact that we are an official selection to the Locarno Film Festival, and uh, it's an honor. I'm out of words. It's really, this is just actually, this is actually one of the few that we'll be going to, to be honest. You know, and we've been keeping all of the news to ourselves because, of course, we have to wait for the official announcements. But um, it's all a blessing, and the route that we're taking for international maybe is not really for any selfish acts. To be honest, we're very much open to pushing Filipino talent, you know, to represent, not just, again, for anything selfish, but just really, I don't know, there's so much Filipino, there's so much talent here, you know, and we could go, go global, and we're just missing out on standards, we're learning so much as we go all through these festival, festivals, meeting all these people who actually really do make a change in their countries in terms of creative, creative sides or creative, creative industry, so um, we're learning a lot and hopefully it will go along as well. Um, through bills or, or through just, just to be able to help Pero, everyone you know, uh, in general. Pero, nakajust ba kayo sa storya given that na-expose na kayo sa ilong mga international producers? Well, I think what's, what's, what's best for it because we really stand with the concept and with the story that we believe that this will gonna work. As long as you have that uh, whole faith on your actor, on your producer, I think everything will gonna fall into place. And oh, sila sa yes, we, we, we are not yes. uh, we are not second guessing what the market would like to uh, would Pero like to support yung outside. Yung yes. But we have a market that we want. But we have a, a material that we we really felt that's gonna uh, make some uh, attention Pero in the global ito, scene. Ito kay Kong Arjo, Paano mo pa ginagawa ito? Nagpo-congressman ka na bigla ka nag-open ito, ikakasel ka pa. Paano na yung honeymoon mo? Kasi August pala kayo, August kayo aalis. Yes, no, there's always time for it. So, yeah, I don't wanna say anything about the honeymoon, but definitely it's all about time management, yes. MJ Sobra. Um, really, we work hand-in-hand. Hand. So we have partners as well who are very hands-on. You know, I can't be there 24-7. I have really much priorities, you know, to attend to. And yeah, it's really time management. That's all I could say. It's Wait, hard, but it's so every day. Is it gonna be? Will the honeymoon be before August or after August? Secret. Secret. <laughs> Ayaw ko sabi. Yeah, but so we're gonna. It will happen soon. Yeah. Apa soon na? Yeah. But but no jitters, no wedding jitters. Whatsoever. I'm just really excited. It's about it. But para wala kang stress, wala ka anxiety. Di ba yung ikakasal? Yung uh, sa kara ba din? Di ba yung parang ikakasal? <laughs> Kinakabahan? Ano ba mga yan? I'm just really excited. That's the, I don't know, up to now. As in, that's all, I'm, I'm happy, excited. He's the most organized and uh, really composed man I, I've known. He's like doing a whole lot of things here and there. But um, he always gets the job done. And he always trusts the people working around him. And I think that's always a, a very good sign of a good and a, a, a true leader. So, so meaning Arjun will still see you? Before you get married, I mean, I mean, you will still see you here in Quezon City. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. And doing these events. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you.